Have you ever wondered who the most notorious serial killers in history are? What makes them tick or kill? Join us as we delve into the dark and twisted minds of the 10 worst serial killers in history. Starting our list at number 10 is Wayne Williams. Emerging from Atlanta, Georgia, Williams is infamous for the Atlanta murders that shook the community between 1979 and 1981. Williams was officially linked to the murders of two adults, but speculation and circumstantial evidence have tied him to at least 23 more, primarily young stars. His capture was the result of a stakeout where police heard a splash in a river, later discovering the body of his final victim. On February 27, 1982, after 11 hours of deliberation, the jury found Wayne Bertram Williams guilty of the two murders. He was sentenced to two consecutive life terms in Georgia's. At number nine, we have Dean Call. A chilling figure in the annals of crime, Call was known as the Candy Man due to his family-owned candy factory. His monstrous spree spanned from 1970 to 1973 in Houston, Texas. Call, along with his accomplices, was responsible for the horrific deaths of at least 28 young men. His reign of terror ended abruptly when one of his accomplices shot him. A twisted tale of manipulation and murder, Dean Call's story serves as a stark reminder of the darkness that can lurk within seemingly ordinary individuals. Dean Call, a man whose atrocities are hard to comprehend. Number eight on our list is John Wayne Gacy. Known as the Killer Clown, Gacy was a chilling figure in American crime history. He preyed on young men, luring them with promises of construction work or by impersonating a policeman. His reign of terror spanned seven years during which he took the lives of 33 young men and boys. The walls of his suburban Chicago home concealed the gruesome evidence of his heinous acts. Justice finally caught up with Gacy in December 1978. On the morning of May 9, 1994, Gacy was transferred to Stateville Correctional Center to be executed. Coming in at number seven is Gary Ridgway. Known as the Green River Killer, Ridgway's reign of terror spanned nearly two decades in the state of Washington. He was convicted for the murders of 49 women, but confessed to killing as many as 71. His victims were often young and vulnerable, preyed upon with a chilling, methodical precision. It wasn't until 2001, after advancements in DNA technology, that he was finally apprehended. On December 18, 2003, King County Superior Court Judge Richard Jones sentenced Ridgway to 48 life sentences without the possibility of parole to be served consecutively. Number six on our countdown is Moses Sithol. Emerging from the shadows of South Africa in the mid-90s, Sithol committed heinous acts that shocked the nation. His reign of terror spanned a year during which he preyed on unsuspecting women, leading to the loss of 38 lives. His modus operandi was chillingly consistent, luring his victims with the promise of employment before striking. His reign of terror was finally brought to an end in 1995 when he was arrested. Justice David Kerr Lewis ordered that Sithol would be required to serve at least 930 years before being eligible for parole, making him eligible for parole at the age of 963. At number five, we have Gerald Stano. Born in Schenectady, New York, Stano began a reign of terror that would last for over a decade. He confessed to taking the lives of 41 women, although he was convicted for the murders of only 22. His victims were often vulnerable women, whom he'd lure with a friendly facade before revealing his true, horrifying intentions. Stano's downfall came when a surviving victim managed to identify him, leading to his arrest and eventual execution. Stano was found guilty of nine murders and received eight life sentences and one death sentence. Number four on our list is Andrei Chikatilo. Known as the Butcher of Rostov, this Soviet serial killer plagued the streets from the late 70s to the early 90s. Chikatilo's monstrous deeds spanned over a decade with 53 confirmed victims, though the actual count might be higher. His victims were often vulnerable individuals, runaways, orphans, or just those unfortunate enough to cross his path. It was a series of forensic evidence and witness testimonies that finally led to his capture in 1990. Andre Chikatilo was sentenced to death for each offense. Coming in at number three is Bruno Lutke, a name that sends chills down the spine of anyone familiar with his story. Lutke, a German laundry delivery man, was responsible for the deaths of an estimated 83 women. His reign of terror spanned 15 years from the late 20s to the early 40s. 
Ludger's victims were primarily vulnerable women whom he assaulted post-mortem. His capture in 1943 finally brought an end to his heinous acts. Bruno Ludke was never put on trial for any of the killings. Declared insane, he was sent to the SS-run Institute of Criminological Medicine in Vienna, where medical experiments were carried out on him until his passing. Our runner-up at number two is Henry Lee Lucas. Lucas, an American criminal, was a drifter who traversed the United States committing a myriad of heinous acts. He was born in Virginia in 1936 and his life was marred by abuse and neglect. This troubled upbringing perhaps laid the foundation for his later life of crime. Lucas's reign of terror spanned from the mid-70s to the early 80s. The number of his victims remains a topic of contention. While Lucas confessed to hundreds of murders, only three were definitively linked to him. His victims were often vulnerable individuals, whom he would lure under false pretenses before brutally taking their lives. His eventual capture in 1983 was a result of an outstanding warrant for unlawful possession of a firearm. However, during questioning, Lucas began confessing to a staggering number of unsolved murders, leading to his infamous reputation. Lucas was ultimately convicted of 11 homicides, including those of his mother, along with Powell and Rich. He had been sentenced to death, and the title of the worst serial killer of all time goes to Pedro Alonso Lopez. This man, whose name sends shivers down the spine, is a figure who has left an indelible mark on the annals of crime. From the 1960s to the 1980s, Lopez unleashed a reign of terror across Colombia, Ecuador and Peru. His victims, young girls, the most vulnerable of society. Lopez, who chillingly earned the moniker Monster of the Andes, was linked to the horrifying murders of hundreds of victims. The scale of his crimes is almost incomprehensible. His eventual capture in 1980 came as a relief to a region living in fear. Yet the story of Pedro Alonso Lopez does not end with his arrest. Despite the monstrous nature of his crimes in 1980, Lopez was convicted of murder and sentenced to 16 years in prison, the maximum prison sentence available in Ecuador at the time. What do you think of the sentences they received? Leave us a comment below. We explored the horrifying spree of Moses Sithol, South Africa's worst serial murderer. We studied the cold-blooded nature of Gerald Stano, Andre Chikatilo, Bruno Ludka, and the enigmatic Henry Lee Lucas. The severity of their crimes is a stark reminder of the darkest depths to which humanity can descend. But remember, these stories serve as a grim reminder of the monsters that can lurk among us. Stay safe, and thank you for joining us on this chilling journey.